you're coming along with me right now on my way to the mountains for a wedding. So my husband is a wedding photographer and I used to go to all the weddings with him as his assistant and second shooter until my son joined our business and now I hardly ever go. But this is a really pretty place and I agreed to kind of come and it's a, it's a busy wedding and they could always use a little help. So I am on my way to help out. I might not stay the whole time, but it's going to be beautiful. It's the mountains. So car vlog. Let me catch you up on what's been going on in my neck of the woods. First of all, we had, we had somebody like, you know, stuff around the house. So we had to get a new pump in our well. And so there was a whole lot of drama about the water pressure and um, so there's our house and then there's, uh, we have a little rental my son lives in and it was crazy. And so while all that was going on, we couldn't get the water figured out. His septic was leaking, you could tell. So it wasn't time to get it pumped, but we had to get it pumped. So if we're gonna pump one, why not pump both? So we had to go through this whole rigmarole Turns out there was a tree in that particular septic that had to be, the roots had to be cut out. So our septic is so old. Our house is so old. We live in a really old house. I love the charm of the really old house, but there's a lot of problems that come with it. And one is um, an ancient septic tank. And so it's covered with cement and my husband has to literally move the cement for them to come and pump it. And I said, you know what, honey, we're not getting any younger got to have a better solution for that we don't have to have a whole new septic tank but could you at least make a new lid so he spent like a couple of weeks his brother's been helping him figure out a new lid and make a new lid and meanwhile right next to that is a jacuzzi in my yard that's been sitting there for so long many years and the reason I couldn't ever work it was because I didn't have a 220 plug well last fall we had to have our electric rewired in our upstairs Again, really old house. And so I figured if I'm gonna go through that, and pay the money to get our house rewired, I'm gonna get a 220 plug for that jacuzzi. So we got the 220 plug. It didn't work. The jacuzzi didn't work after all that. So we called the guy that we know that works on jacuzzis and he's like, I could get this running for you. So, you know, fast forward, he's got it running. And I'm like, I'm ready to get in, except guess what? There's no lid on our septic. I mean, there's something there, but it's like, it's still kind of old, oh, stinky. So hubby's been fast tracking, getting that finished. And last night we put the chemicals in, not chemicals, but you know, the cleaner to clean the spa out. And Sunday, my grandkids are coming to spend the night and oh my gosh, it'll be a swimming pool to them. I'm so excited. Just so excited about that jacuzzi. Can't even tell you. It's kind of fake. Are you actually having fun? Yeah. Do you yeah. like Do you like the jacuzzi? Yeah. Whoa. Is my phone waterproof? Uh, yeah. I hope so. Who lets you have dessert first? Grammy. Grammy. Is that fun? Yeah. yeah. But it's in the ugliest part of our property. It's just we have you know just nothing but junk. It's like not junk, but you know like weeds and dirt and it's not pretty so now I've got visions of like gardening like new patio here planting there my poor hubby he has a full-time career his photography studio is a full-time career and no time for all this stuff I keep thinking of more stuff anywho um, it will get done we just came back from a glorious camping trip I did put a video up about it and it was so amazing just so amazing but we never did get the generator to work so we've called the RV repair guy and he's supposed to come on Monday and help us figure out what went wrong and get it all figured out and we're gonna upgrade uh, to a longer lasting battery so our next trip is boondocking also boondocking means there's no hookups it's just you and your trailer whatever you bring with you and so we're hoping to last a little longer this time since it's a longer trip anyway and it'll be with friends so it won't be just me and hubby um, two of my girlfriends and their hubbies and their trailers will all be just 
a little village there. We do a lot of fun things. We do dinners together and we just always have just the best time. This is like our third or fourth year to do this. It's an annual. We're just gonna do it forever. And um, we go hiking, there's a lake. It's pretty cool. So I, before that, I go to Nashville, my company. I do a little side uh, job of, called Isogenics. My morning shake, I had it on the way here. So good. And so one of the funnest parts about being in this business is the friendships and just the fun and um, we go to convention. It's basically just a really fun time of learning and getting excited and personal development and sharing. And we've got a, a Airbnb house and my son's going, my best friend's going. It's just we've got a house full of really cool people to hang out with. And so I leave for that on Saturday and then the day I get back, the next day we go to, we go to the lake hit the trailer. So I have to pack now for both trips. I just have to get everything ready because I won't have time to do anything when I get back. So that's crazy. All the meanwhile, I have some great videos I want to edit about my trailer and the stuff I've been doing on it. But man, I just don't know these how-to videos. They're hard to do. Like I am not a good teacher. So I have all these little clips. And when I try to put them together, sometimes they literally just don't make sense. So I'm like, can this even be a video? I mean, the stuff turned out great, but can I actually tell people how I did it? I don't know. So videos that I'm working on is my cushion cover. I want to do one on how we painted the trailer because that was super, super cool. And um, that jackknife sofa was pretty interesting to cover. And I want to do a video on that. So those are just some things I'm thinking about. I'm also pinning like crazy Pinteresting about camper organization. I want to get organized. And my son and I went to this garden. I go there every spring because the tulips are amazing. And they told me last time I was there, I interviewed the guy who runs the garden. And I have a video on that. It was really cool. And he said, you have to come back and see our summer garden. We replant everything. And I said, when's the best time to come? And he said, July. And so. Uh, it was still July, and the last day of July, but it was still July, and it wasn't as good, and they had half of it closed, and it's a long drive for not such a great experience, but I'm not mad about it because I had a really good time with my son. We had a really fun time just visiting. We had a really fun um, lunch at my favorite health food restaurant, and um, now I know. Don't go back. Just go in the tulip time, and that's it. That's it. Here we are, we're at Crystal Hermitage Gardens to see the summer garden. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for a couple of years. So they plant tulips in the spring and I have a video on that, but they've always told me that they, they actually take out all the flowers and replace them every year with a summer garden. So we're here to see the summer garden and uh, there's nobody here, literally empty parking lot. So we might have the garden to ourselves or it might be closed, one of those two. <laughs> Okay, so this is the lower part of the upper garden, and then you would never know it, but right there through that door is the rest of the garden. There's a house and a pool and a ch little chapel uh, that the founder is buried as his tomb is underneath, and the cliff side, and more flowers, and more waterfalls, and all of that through that door, which is closed today. So we won't get to see that. Uh, but it is beautiful. No regrets. I wish that we could open that door and go down there. Do you know that story, The Secret Garden, where it's all behind this wall and the little girls find it? It's one of my favorite stories. So that's what it feels like to not be able to go in that door, knowing there's a secret garden in there. So now you're caught up pretty much. 
I have two weeks of travel coming up and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm just stressed out to get ready, get it all ready. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's gonna be hot in Nashville and I'm not used to that kind of weather, you know, the humid kind. We don't have that here in California. So will the clothes that I wear work there? And um, it's also, you know, I guess that's it. I mean, it's just all fun. We, um, we all kind of hang out together. We do the Uber, you know, we all um, get our own Ubers. We do it in groups because there's too many of us for one car. And, you know, we don't always sit together, but we just have so much fun. It's just fun. Like, you know, the purpose of convention is to educate, motivate, and entertain. And so there's always lots of loud music and it's just fun. I've been going to conventions my whole adult life. I just don't know how people don't have them in their life. It's just too fun. Too fun. Oh my gosh. So I used to be in the makeup business. For 17 years I did makeup parties and uh, that company doesn't exist anymore but it was so fun. Convention was always so fun. But we always dressed up because it was, you know, we we're in the fashion business. So it's still hard to this day to go to a convention realizing that like most of the people there are gonna be wearing like workout clothes. <laughs> They're not gonna be dressed up. So it doesn't matter what I wear. It literally does not matter. So I'm going for comfort. That's what I'm going for. 